Well, we're here today. We're going to set up a uh, mineral lick for the deer out in these uh, these woods here, getting ready to uh, prepare to bow hunt. Uh, we've got some pretty nice heavy woods here. Got some nice undergrowth, uh, good browse in here for the deer. Uh, we've got uh, a mixture of hardwood and pine. Um, we're looking back to the east right now. It's about 9.30 in the morning. The sun's already up pretty high. It's supposed to get up into the mid-90s today. We're about three weeks away from the start of bow season here in Arkansas. Uh, we we're picking this site right here because we have, back to our west here, we have some large white oak trees and red oak trees and uh, they produce uh, a ton of uh, hard mast for the deer. We've got several trees around here that give us a, a nice bow stand uh, setup and we can basically pick any tree in a nice circle around this mineral lick that we're going to set up to hunt either on top of the mineral lick or we can hunt uh, off on the periphery. And what we've got here is a trace mineral block uh, just a, a cattle uh, block, uh, primarily salt, but does have some trace minerals. And what we've also done to this block is we've taken a quarter inch drill bit and we've drilled nine holes into it that go down about three inches. Uh, we, we chose to put the uh, divot here on top, which will hold some of our buck jam. And we're going to take our persimmon flavored buck jam and pour into the holes and over the top of this mineral block to help make it a little more desirable for the deer. Uh, the buck jam gives a sweet and a salty uh, flavor. Uh, its claim is that it's an instant mineral lick. My experience has been that uh, if you just put this out alone, you have a real hard time getting deer to come to it. You, you've got to have a, a lot of other attractants out to get the deer to come to this. Right now, we've had extremely dry weather. We just had a rain um, in the vicinity uh, and within the last 24 hours. But you can tell from the dirt here, it didn't rain in this location. So when you pour something wet, like this buck jam, right on top of the ground or on top of a stump, um, especially when it's been very dry, uh, you lose an awful lot of the potency of this uh, this uh, product. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pour this right over the top of this block. It will sit in here and just slowly soak in, soak in all the holes, and then just let it run over the edge. Now we are going to bring another uh, attractant in, and we'll uh, show that a little bit later in our next post, but that's going to... Uh, uh, just be a food source just to kind of help make sure that the deer do find this buck jam on this uh, this block. So we're going to go ahead and pour this on. Again, we, we chose the persimmon flavor just because it's such a strong flavor, strong scent, and the deer love persimmon. So we're going to let that soak in, and we're just going to cover this entire block. When we come back and show you our uh, other attractants will show you what this looks like completed and let you have a look and see if this may be something you might want to do at your favorite hunting site as well.